Hey friends, it's Missy again. Thanks for joining me today. I'm back with a new layout for the Paige Evans design team and I'm using the beautiful new Horizon collection again. And one of Paige's newer cut files, this one is called Layered Butterfly. And I went ahead and did some cutting before I started recording. And the cut file is six different sized butterflies. And the idea behind it is you cut all six of them out and then stack them together to create a beautiful dimensional layered butterfly and I had the idea of doing sort of some tone on tone color blocking so I thought I would make a blue one a pink one and then kind of an orangey yellow one and so I went through a ton of the pattern papers I can't even remember I think I almost used a bit of each pattern paper um, to create these and so I just cut my papers in different size squares and stuck all the blue papers to my cutting mat and ran it through and then did the same thing with the other colors and so I thought I would just stick with these three main butterflies at first and I'm just adding a little bit of glue to the middle there to uh, glue them together and this way I can fold up the edges of the wings and really create some dimension and I'm gonna scrap this photo here it's a color photo of me and my daughter and uh, it's, I printed it a little bit bigger than I normally do because I wanted it to sort of be in the center and kind of be in the middle of all of these butterflies. So once I arranged it on my paper, I thought, I think I need some more butterflies. So I thought I would make a green one and then a multicolored one. And this time I didn't want them to be full on uh, size. So I just did the four smaller sized ones so that's another option for this is you don't have to use all six butterflies you could create some smaller ones and you could also resize them so um, I went through the multicolored papers and created this one and I really love how it turned out so I thought I would have two more butterflies and so um, yeah I'm gonna try to arrange this and have the photo kind of in the middle like where you see it there and I thought my best option for a background was white cardstock and I know I use white cardstock a lot but in this case there are so many colors going on and they're very bright and bold as you can see and i just could not decide on a pattern paper background that wouldn't take away or make it look too busy so uh, i let the butterflies dry and then i ran them all through my sewing machine off camera and i just used some white thread and just kind of went back and forth right there in the middle so they're officially glued together and sewn together and now I can really bend up the wings and this is going to be very dimensional uh, layout um, you can be able to really pop those wings up and make them look like they're just flying around so I am going to do a little bit of mixed media on the background here um, this is thick white cardstock I believe it's the, the basil marshmallow it's it's pretty good about handling anything liquid but just to be sure um, I'm able to blend and smudge my colors I'm going to add clear gesso first so I pulled out a lot of my shimmer sprays that have matching colors to all of those butterflies. And I'm just going to do the packaging technique here and start to add some color. And my first thought was to where the yellow butterfly is down in the bottom of the page. I thought I would add that color up at the top and sort of spread the color around a little bit. So I would have different colors in different areas. So that yellow color I believe is called mustard seed or sunset strip and then I used frostbite for that periwinkle blue color and this pink color is sweetheart I believe and I just kind of want some really pretty splotches of color behind the photo and a lot of it's going to get covered up and I know I say that in almost every layout that I make but it's true you know you feel like you do a lot of mixed media on the background but then when you put everything back on top of it it uh, starts to look like you didn't do enough and so um, it's I like to do it in stages where I do a little bit and then I put everything back on kind of like I'm doing here and then you can see how all of a sudden that big mixed media splotchy area kind of got a little bit smaller when you add everything back on top of it so you know I like to do it in stages and kind of see what I've got and then just kind of go back and forth and add to it if I need to and I do want to add lots of splatters so I am going to do that I pulled in some green in the, the right hand corner since that green butterfly is going to be in the upper left again I'm trying to spread the color around and I don't do uh, I don't think I do any green with the packaging technique I just kind of hint around with the splatters there and that's another shimmers it's called four leaf clover and then this is a, a lighter blue called snow Wayman. 
and I've just used these shimmers for so long I kind of have most of them memorized and I just kind of know which colors match what because I've used them so many times so I think I've got the background pretty much done and I'm gonna start to work on layering the photo I love to add tissue paper behind my photo it just sort of gives it a little bit of a messy subtle layer between the photo and the background and then I'm going to come in with some adhesive foam just to raise it up off the page a little bit and I'm going to tuck it underneath the pink butterfly but a little bit on top of the blue one and the more I looked at this the more I thought well I don't really want to do a whole lot of embellishing because those butterflies pretty much are the star of the page I mean there's so many pattern papers and so many bright colors and they they're pretty big so they take up a lot of space and I don't want to fill in the rest of the white space with a bunch of embellish embellishments just sort of floating around so I'm gonna keep the embellishments tight around the photo and just do a little bit and I pulled out all the die cuts from the ephemera die cut pack from horizon and I'm just gonna tuck in a couple of leaf sprigs a couple of flowers and then there were two label pieces I think you saw me stick those under there first uh, just for little slivers of color I've got a light blue one on the left and then that lime green one on the right and then again that's just to, to spread some of the color around and to pull you know the green over to the right and the blue over to the left now this is one of the two by two paper pads this is the one with the phrases there's another two by two paper pad with just patterns and there were several in here that I thought were cute and so I'm just going to trim off the pattern around the edges and sort of tuck these in here and there and it's going to give it sort of a a white on white look because I'm going to put these where the background is still white and they're just little phrases this one says get your happy on and then this one here says oh happy day and I just thought it would be something subtle to you know add in and around the butterflies without without it being something very colorful and distracting because I don't feel like I need a lot more really anything else that's colorful because I've got plenty of that going on already so I'm gonna very carefully start to add a little bit of glue to everything I'm just gonna glue down the middle of the butterflies or here on the pink one I think I'm gonna add a little bit behind the bottom layer but uh, I'm just adding just enough to keep it glued down I don't want to compromise the wings because I want those to stand up so I've got three little sentiments there that I use again from the two by two paper pad and then all the little tight layers there that you see tucked in and around the photo and I cut that layer or not the layer uh, that label in half because I felt like a lot of it was hidden under the photo and so I can cut off the hidden half and save that for something else because it's just a waste if you can't see it so you might as well cut it and use the other half for something else so I am going to add in some thread here of course you know me and my thread addiction I've got colors to match pretty much all these colors um, but I'm going to go with that darker periwinkle blue color a little bit there under the right of the photo and then I'm going to combine combine uh, hot pink and this corally color kind of the coral salmon color that's in the bottom butterfly and add a little bit of that color there on the left and then I am going to add a little bit of yellow at the top and this just gives a little bit more color and texture and just adds to the messy factor of the background and I did leave the white thread on each butterfly where I ran it through my sewing machine and when I cut cut each one of those off I just left the white thread hanging and it's obviously white so it's hard to tell here but so that also adds some texture more thread this time I'm going with pink I felt like I needed a little pop of pink up there just to add a little bit of a darker shade of pink right there on top of that little mixed media piece and I'm liking how this is looking um, here's a problem that I ran into at this point I thought I love how this looks and I really do but then I thought I don't have room for a title where is it gonna go what is it going to be what color is it going to be so I, I went to this paper paper number four and it's got a ton of these gorgeous watercolor words and so I thought I would just go simple 
I thought I liked the way this hello piece looks. So I fussy cut it out and thought I would incorporate that into a title. But when I put it down here at the bottom, it just sort of blended in. I think that there's just so much color going on. You couldn't even really tell that it was even there by that pink butterfly. So I settle on this sticker here. And it, even though it is pink, it's got that really thick white outline and it makes it stand up off the page and, and it stands out. And I felt like that's all I really needed. Um, you know, this is just a cute selfie of us in the pool. It wasn't a big monumental event where I needed a super important title. Uh, I do use that hello piece up at the top. I fussy cut it out, so I thought I'm going to make it work somewhere. And here I'm just going to show you how dimensional this is. Look at these layers. I love that. Awesome. So, so awesome. Um, but yeah, so I just went, I went short and sweet with the title, and it's just going to be that small favorite right there, because, you know, I didn't want to put it on the left. I didn't want to put it on the bottom right. There was really no place for it. And, you know, sometimes I start with a title, and then sometimes I get to the end, and I think, uh-oh, where is it going to go? And you know, sometimes you don't even need a title. I think this would have been fine without one. But anyway, I'm going to add my journaling down there at the bottom left. And I do add the date stamp. And I think I added a little bit more splatters. But that's it. That's the final layout. I love how this turned out. I know I say that all the time. But when I finally watch myself make this and then see the final layout, I just fall in love with it. And especially these colors in this collection. I took so many close-ups just because... <laughs> just because the colors oh do these colors not make you so happy or what I mean if you want to create something rainbow related then this is the collection to do it because every color under the sun is in this collection it's so pretty but uh, yeah let me know if you have any questions uh, definitely check out this layered butterfly cut file and the new horizon collection you will not be disappointed it is gorgeous so I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a great week, and I want to thank you so, so much for watching.